effort to crack down on money laundering. Congresswoman Marge Rockama has drafted a bill to impose stricter penalties on cash smugglers. Zachary Fink has more. Rockama has introduced a measure that would make it illegal for individuals to smuggle currency in and out of the United States. The bill, known as the Bulk Cash Smuggling Act, would impose criminal penalties for people caught with $10,000 or more. It has to make it a crime to have large sums of cra cash with significant penalties. We have five-year five mandatory sentences, so to speak, in this legislation. At the hearing, law enforcement officials from local, state, and federal agencies testified that large sums of cash are almost always a sign of illegal activity. But without specific laws on the books, officials say very often their hands are tied when it comes to prosecuting. What we're faced uh, with now is the fact that we stop these people, they have a half a million dollars in the trunk of their car. You've seen the videos that show all these things. And we really can't do much about it except just seize the cash, smack them on the hand, and let them go. Legitimate businesses don't uh, handle bags and bags and bags of cash and look to... undercover with the Cali drug cartel. Now he protects us. Protecting Passaic County is more than a job to me because my family lives here too. Protecting Passaic County. We created Passaic County's first crime lab. Now if a criminal even leaves a single hair behind, we've got him. Using the latest technologies and good police work, crime is down 25%, making us safer. Jerry Spezial, our sheriff. Making us safer and saving us money. That's our sheriff, Jerry Spezial. Reduced a $3 million department budget deficit. Increased revenues $10 million since taking office. Used confiscated money from drug dealers to buy new law enforcement equipment at no cost to taxpayers. Created an internet crime unit to prevent sexual predators from preying on our children. Created Passaic County's first crime lab. Making us safer, saving us money. Our sheriff, Jerry Spezial. As local as local news gets. Now, the evening edition. It's antiquated. It, I mean, it's a disgrace, really. It really is. I mean, this isn't the way law enforcement should be run in this century. I mean, come on. The, t the day and age we're in. The new sheriff, Passaic County, has his work cut out for him. He takes News 12 New Jersey on a walking tour to show us his plans for the future. Good evening. I'm Tom Lason. And I'm Janine Strafasi in for Dela Cruz. Officers write reports on old word processors, and there's no voicemail. These are just some of the examples of how the Passaic County Sheriff's Department has operated recently. But new sheriff, Jeriff Spazial, is making sweeping changes, including layoffs. He reveals his plans to News 12 New Jersey's Sherry Hensley. They're so cramped in here, we're moving them around. I mean, we're going to move our, our whole facility going to change. He's the first Democrat to occupy the Passaic County Sheriff's Office in almost half a century. On his second official day on the job, Jerry Spezial has already got the ball rolling on some sweeping changes in the 700-member department. First and foremost is to bring the department into the 21st century, getting rid of typewriters and word processors used to write reports. Everything is paper. 
Nothing's computerized. Just two days after he won the election, Spezial and his transition team rolled up their sleeves and got to work addressing several key issues. During our walking tour of the jail, he showed us the need for a new system to keep track of inmates. Currently, officers use pieces of paper and attach them to what's called the pegboard. This here guy's in court, okay? Now, if this piece of paper, for whatever reason, falls off and goes down, who knows where he is? You know, it's ridiculous. You have no system. It's got to be changed. It's got to be changed quick. The most immediate change in the department has to do with personnel. The sheriff says as a result of the county's budget shortfall, he has no choice but to trim his staff. As a result, 26 people are being laid off. Some people contend Spezial fired those who supported his opponent. The sheriff disputes that. When you let people go, everybody's not going to be happy. But I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to run a police agency. When the dust settles, the sheriff says his goal is to boost morale, something that's been lacking in the department for some time. In Passaic County, Sherry Hensley, News 12, New Jersey. And before he became sheriff, Jerry, Jerry Spezial. If you're not in danger and you see a crime, text 274-637-274-637. Now, helping a solve or prevent a crime is just a text away. Text my tip and let the law help you. I'm our sheriff. As a cop, he is a hero. Just as Commissioner Carrick Special came to town. A real American hero to serve the public is his goal. Vote Special for sheriff. Special earned his fame. He wore his badge with honor. Fighting crime has been his game. Good evening, I'm Joe Shenman, and welcome to Clifton News. Uh, the word sheriff comes from two words, shire meaning county and reeve meaning chief. It's my distinct pleasure and honor to not only <coughs> present to you the uh, sheriff of Passaic County, but Jerry Spezial elevates that word to, my gosh, international value, and I bless you for that. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for taking the time to come to our studio here in the city of Clifton. We're so honored to have you. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, everyone, please, <laughs> must get a copy of this. Where can they obtain a copy of this? You can obtain a copy of the, any, any of the citizens of Passaic County at the Passaic County Sheriff's Department, the Office of Community Policing. Mm -hmm. And uh, where is that located? That's located at 435 Hamburg Turnpike okay. in Wayne, New Jersey. Okay. Or you could call and we'll have one sent to you. Apps, go ahead. At area code 973-389-5919. And I see we have www.pscsh, well, psheriff.org. Okay, I hope you have that. If not, get the number. <laughs> you must have this book because all you journalist students, <clears throat> I have never seen a document, a public document written so beautifully. Thank you. It, the, the words just rise off the pages. But just to give everyone a bit of an education, basically you, you are in charge of neighborhoods, roads, parks, schools, uh, basically crime prevention, law enforcement, court services, and detention. Correct. That really Some comes broad powers. quite a bit. Yes. Uh, and we, we are pleasured that you have a background that has brought us, you to New Jersey from our beloved city of New York City. Thank you. NYPD is where NYPD you... NYPD is where I started. Where yes. you started. Yes. So how can we just journey through how you got started and then we'll go through the, your book, work as sheriff and end this wonderful book without a badge. I mean, this is a series not to be forgotten. Thank you. Um, I started out with uh, joining the NYPD. My mother's brother was uh, originally a Passaic County Park police officer. Mm -hmm. uh, he became uh, a member of the New York State Police and was one of the first undercovers uh, back in the days of the motorcycle gang. Ah. U.S. Customs agents nab a man who allegedly provided fake IDs to two of the September 11th hijackers. He eluded investigators last month after slipping away to Egypt. But the feds caught up with him yesterday at New York's JFK Airport. Fox's Todd Connor is live outside the Passaic County Jail in Patterson, New Jersey, with more on that case. Todd? Hi there, John. Well, 45-year-old Mohammed El Atris is charged with selling hundreds of fake IDs and at this moment is sitting in the Passaic County Jail, awaiting a bail hearing on Friday. 
Now, police say that he, uh, some of those documents went to two of the hijackers, the September 11th hijackers, one that was on a plane that hit the World Trade Center, and the other was on a plane that hit the Pentagon. Now, El Atris was arrested at New York's JFK airport yesterday morning on his way back from Egypt, and he wasn't talking when he was brought in in handcuffs. El Atris, who is a naturalized U.S. citizen from Egypt, knew before he returned to the States that there was a warrant out for his arrest. But what's not known at this time for sure is whether he flew to Egypt to avoid being caught. Now, his timing is suspect because investigators say he left town just hours before they raided his home and businesses on July 31st. Uh, they carted away boxes of documents. The Passaic County Sheriff's Department says he sold hundreds of fake driver's licenses, ID cards, auto titles, even auto license plates. The FBI is also investigating Alatrice and said he told them after 9-11 that he had sold a phony ID to one of the hijackers. They are still trying to determine at this time whether he knew of the hijackers' plans, and right now no federal charges have been filed. They also want to know why he wired about $30,000 to a Saudi Arabian bank account earlier this year. Meanwhile, authorities... County Jail inmates were forced to evacuate the prison just after 3 o'clock this afternoon when the fire broke out. The fire was under control two hours later. Four sheriff's officers and in the studio with the day's other news, Dana. Thanks, Roz and Ernie. Also happening tonight, a police commissioner of a New Jersey town finds himself on the other side of the law, accused of being a sexual predator. CBS 2's Jay Dow has the story. Investigators say Little Ferry Councilman and Police Commissioner Frank Mudry didn't have a clue. It turns out he was reaching out to the long arm of the law and not a 14-year-old girl on his home computer. We had two different undercovers that were in chat rooms. And the defendant in this case uh, uh, began to send in instant messages to the one undercover. Passaic County Sheriff's deputies arrested the 39-year-old at his Little Ferry home this morning and charged him with luring a minor, attempted sexual contact, and endangering the welfare of a child. Anytime uh, someone in public office attempts to take advantage of a child, it's alarming. But among his neighbors, Frank Mudry is known as a happily married family man. He's been friendly, outgoing, never would suspect anything like that. Mudry, married with two children, is currently being held in the Passaic County Jail on $100,000 bail. In Little Ferry, J. Dow, CBS 2 News. A 20-block area of Richmond, Virginia has been declared.